Today we are back with a landscaping series. We will be doing some lawn care. We'll be mowing five acres of land using the new Kubota tractor and batwing mower. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2020 Silverado. We will be using the Ram 3500 flatbed along with the gooseneck trailer to transport the tractor and mower over to the property. I'm excited to be back here with the landscaping series doing some lawn care. We've been doing quite a lot of mowing lately with the grass uh, going pretty fast. I will be continuing to feature mowing videos every single week for all of you. Fall has now approached and it's going to be a busy season. We have quite a lot more projects we have to do before uh, winter and we got to get the trucks in the shop ready to go for the winter season. Since buying this 2020 Silverado, I've really been enjoying it. We put it to work towing over 15,000 pounds and it really uh, did a great job. We'll get loaded up here and head out of the shop. Now it is just over 50 degrees this morning, so it will be a cold start here for the Cummins. Usually when it's a very cold out, they kind of struggle, all diesels in general. We'll let the Cummins get warmed up here and get the tractor and mower ready to go. Now we are using the brand new Kubota tractor guys since it's the L3901. I do want to disconnect the front loader and take the weights off the back. This will make it a little bit easier for maneuvering not having this big loader and it's going to be a lighter footprint on the lawn as well. Now the property we are mowing is just around 5 acres. It has a big house and a pretty big barn and it's a residential property. I would take a zero turn but that would take too much time and we'll take a 3-4 people to weed eat and we should be done with that. For weight distribution wise here on the trailer, I do want to back it on uh, That's so that the tractor will be right over the wheels of the trailer. I hope everyone's having a great day today. today. Let me know how it is. My day has been a bit busy so far, but overall I've been enjoying uh, my week. The landscaping series is very popular here on the channel, which is pretty exciting. I really do enjoy this series so far here in 19. So many different jobs, projects, and equipment we get to use here with the series. Now this will be a little tricky trying to get it backed on, but I don't think we'll have a problem. Sometimes backing it up the ramp, uh, it might uh, scrape or two, but we'll give it a try. I actually don't think it will be too hard, and it might be a little bit easier to secure uh, the mower. Oh yeah, it looks like we'll be able to get it on our first try here, which is awesome. Uh, you really do want to make sure you position these correctly so that you don't have any problems. And yeah, that's awesome. The uh, tractor's right over the axles, and I think we'll put one there in the back. So we got that all strapped down. Let's get the garage door closed and head on out. Now it is a little bit of a drive since this property is bigger, it is on the edge of town. Oh yeah, we can definitely feel the weight here, it's sitting a little bit lower in the back of the ram. Now this is our first uh, job here using the new truck and trailer along with tractor which is also nice. Can definitely feel it on the back here but we'll uh, kind of see how it does. If you do have any cool ideas here for the landscaping series, please let me know. We do have some upcoming projects, which I can't wait to record for all of you guys. But if you do have any cool ideas, please let me know. Now we do have a Kubota compact tractor, but this tractor here has a canopy. It has turf tires on it, and it has a little bit more horsepower, which uh, will be a lot better here for this uh, Batwing mower. Now for this mower attachment we did have the option between rough blades and finish cut blades and I did put the finish blades on for today's uh, mowing. Sometimes we use this to knock down two and a half uh, to three feet of grass but today we'll be mowing probably a foot, foot and a half tall grass. We mow this property every two weeks just because of the size and the big price tag we charge to take care of it. 
This is one awesome setup we are running. Really do like the Cummins, and I've been getting a ton of requests to use more of them here in my videos. So the landscaping series just recently purchased uh, this new Ram uh, Flatbed, and I really do like the Flatbed on this. I actually remember playing Farming Simulator 13, and there were a few Ford trucks with this bed on it. So that's pretty cool to see this come from FS13 to 15, and all the way through now to 19. I would like to thank all of you guys for the continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby and great passion of mine, and I'm very thankful to have the support that I've had. Now since the mower attachment is not strapped down, I am trying to be a little careful there, but having it kind of backed in is a little bit helpful there as well. Sometimes backing attachments on is a bit tricky, but we didn't have a problem today, which is great. Now I do plan to do a few modifications here to the trailer, and that is to make the ramp mouse control and to get a much beefier ramp, and it, that way it doesn't have to fold all the way down, and we get that extra 4 or 5 feet, which will come in handy when we take a few extra attachments or even have the loader on the tractor uh, or a few things like that. Now we are coming up here on the property to the left hand side. It's going to be the second one here and we'll get right to mowing. We'll park in the driveway, that way we aren't on the uh, country road. Sometimes people do like to speed when there's a nice open road and uh, we definitely don't want the truck out in the road. And it's always easier to bring it in the driveway for loading and unloading anyways. We'll get the tractor warmed up here. I always do try to get the uh, trucks and equipment warmed up uh, at the start of the day and also before we do something like this, especially mowing, where we are in the high RPMs of the tractor. I think we'll get mowing here on uh, the smaller area. That way there is going to be less to mow, but I, I want to get uh, along this side, do the property line first. This is so sweet using the brand new uh, tractor for today's uh, job. There we go, nice finished mowing, and this will look great when we're done. Now if we do have the rough cut blades on it, it will kind of drop the grass, and we definitely don't want that for our client. Now the property line is this one pass over here. I kind of really do like how this property was laid out. They built the house a little bit closer to one side and just have an entire open area. And then they have a field back here which is nice. A uh, farmer usually owns some uh, up to the field so we won't go right up to it but uh, you guys can see pretty nice property. Now I do plan to build a map this winter. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing to do around December or January. And it will be a nice uh, farm town with fields and a nice area to do projects like landscaping. And this will be a tight fit here, but it looks like we'll be able to go uh, in between. Yep, wow, right there. If you would like to see more mowing videos here on the channel, please let me know. I do also post on Instagram every single day. I do recommend you go check it out over there. Some sneak peeks and uh, some great ideas you guys have been sharing with me over there as well. Oh yeah, we're going to struggle getting up it. It's a pretty heavy mower uh, to move around by itself, yet alone we're at full RPM with the mower running. I don't think a 72 inch mower would have been good enough for this, we'll uh, been here for hours.
Now having the turf tires are a bit helpful as well. We uh, don't have to worry about tearing up these lawns because those big agricultural tires uh, are meant for getting traction out in the farm fields. And I think having turf tires for landscaping and for doing work like this it makes a quite a bit more sense. We do some dirt work, but these give us enough traction uh, to get those projects done. Having the canopy on this tractor is a bit helpful as well, helping us uh, stay out of the sun as we are working, but the temperature is rising, and over the last few days it's actually been uh, pretty good lately. We do have quite a lot more videos coming up here this week and in the coming weeks. We have quite a lot more projects to do with the homeowner series at the two houses. And I think we'll probably come back to 17 very soon. I do uh, want to feature a few more 17 videos even though we are here in 19. We might even do a throwback to landscaping if you guys would like. I still really do enjoy 17 with the games and the trucks and all the different things it offers. Now with the Batwing mower we can't go back and forth we really just have to go in circles it's just too big uh, to kind of be able to do that. Now I am thinking about buying a GMC Sahir for the landscaping series. I'm looking at maybe a 2500 Duramax crew cab. I think I will try to get a few more crew cabs and we'll still keep the OBS Fords. We won't be selling any of the trucks because I think getting that would be pretty nice. We'll do a few more passes here and we'll call it a day. It's just such a big area to do and uh, I will have to do quite a bit of this off camera as well. The finish mower uh, cut on this is uh, pretty sweet. It's even sometimes better than uh, the zero turns and uh, kind of doing more efficient mowing and it looks pretty nice. The tractor and the mower are getting dirty which is great to see and I don't just want to buy these to have them sit around the shop. I want them to make the uh, landscaping series money and really do some great videos with them as well. I am thinking about featuring more and more different games here on the channel as well. I will continue to feature Spin Tires, American Truck Simulator, and a BeamNG, and also a few other ones. Maybe Forza Horizon if you guys would like to see that. I think there are some more trucks that have recently come out and we can continue to do videos with sport cars as well.
We'll make one more pass back around to the Ram, and then we'll uh, kind of call it a day. It's been a pretty long day here for us. We kind of got out here early morning. I think I'll go by the shop, grab some lunch, grab a few of the crew members, and have them come back here and weed eat while I finish the mowing. Weed eating takes quite a bit of time, especially on a property of this size. And I think this will conclude it here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Getting to use the new Kubota Batwing mower, new RAM, along with a new trailer. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.